Hi there everybody, my name is Richard McMahon and welcome to this tutorial which is entitled Apprenticeship Interview Questions and Answers. Now if you have an apprenticeship coming up within any field or any industry whatsoever, I promise you this tutorial is going to make a significant difference to your preparation because I'm going to give you a number of apprenticeship interview questions to prepare for and more importantly I'm going to give you the answers as well. So before I get into those all important questions and answers a very warm welcome to this tutorial. As I say my name is Richard McMahon, that's me there in the middle and I'm going to give you high scoring answers during this tutorial to your apprenticeship interview. I've been helping people now for many many years to help pass their interviews. I'm very passionate about it, I love doing it. And on that basis, please make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video and that way you won't miss out on any of the weekly tutorials. And also, I would very, very much appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get straight into those all important apprenticeship interview questions and answers. Now, to study this tutorial, you need no prior experience of having attended any interviews. And I understand the majority of people who go along to an apprenticeship interview will not have much experience of interview. So I've tailored the answers to help you prepare fully. First question, tell me about yourself and why you want this particular apprenticeship. So there's two parts to it. Tell me about yourself and why you want this particular apprenticeship. And here's my suggested strong answer. I am someone who is hardworking, conscientious and professional. I fully understand that you want to take someone on within this apprenticeship who will not only work hard to do the job properly, but who will also continually grow and develop as the apprenticeship progresses. I want this particular apprenticeship for three main reasons. The first reason is that it will enable me to work within an industry that I am passionate about. The second reason is the apprenticeship will allow me to learn a huge amount whilst developing new skills. And finally, you are an organization that has a brilliant reputation and I would feel very proud being a part of your team for the duration of the apprenticeship. So that's a solid, concise answer that's full of positivity and it answers the, the question really well. Okay, next question. And by the way, I'm gonna tell you where you can download a copy of these apprenticeship interview questions and answers um, at some stage during the tutorial. So yeah, please do watch it from beginning to end. How can we be sure you will successfully complete the apprenticeship to the required standard? So it's okay them taking you on, because generally the salary will be quite low for an apprenticeship, but they want you to complete it. They don't want you to just sit back and plod along. They want you to complete it successfully. So the question is, how can we be sure you will successfully complete the apprenticeship to the necessary standard? Here's my answer. Although I have little work experience to date, I feel I am mature, and I understand that the apprenticeship will only be successful if I put in the hard work and learn and develop as my time here progresses. There is no way I would just sit back and do the bare minimum during the apprenticeship. If you give me the opportunity, I will study hard, work to a brilliant standard, and also be on constant lookout for learning new skills and developing the right qualities to become a reliant and trustworthy employee for your company. So that answer demonstrates that you thought about it um, and you're also giving them some solid and positive attributes that you have that will then ensure you're gonna work really hard to pass the apprenticeship. Next question, what skills would you like to focus on improving and developing during the apprenticeship? So it's not just about going along to the apprenticeship and throughout the duration and learning the, the knowledge required to do the job. It's about improving and developing different skills, qualities and attributes. So here's my um, suggested answer to the question, what skills would you like to focus on improving and developing during the apprenticeship? I have thought quite long and hard about what I would like to learn and develop whilst I'm on the apprenticeship. Firstly, I would like to learn the applicable skills and knowledge relevant to the industry that will enable me to perform the role to a high standard. Secondly, I would like to develop a strong work ethic that enables me to become a competent employee. Finally, I would like to learn from as many experienced people within your organization as possible, as I feel this will give me the right team working qualities and attributes to become a valuable and loyal member of your company. So it shows that you've thought carefully about what it is you want to learn whilst you're there. Of course, you're gonna learn the, you know, the knowledge and the skills to do the job correctly, but there's also the different element of becoming a great team worker, someone who's competent in their role, they're professional, they're mature, and also you can follow rules and procedures. And I'll come on to that kind of question soon because that's pretty much guaranteed to be a question during your apprenticeship interview. Now I've got two more questions to go through, but 
there is a link that has appeared right there in the top right hand corner of the website. If you want to go through to my website, you can download for a small fee a copy of all of these, plus there's about 20 apprenticeship interview questions and solid answers to ensure you pass. Let's move on to the next question. What are your main strengths that will help you to successfully complete this apprenticeship? So what are your main strengths? So this is a question that's assessing that you understand your own skills and qualities and that they will be an asset during your time on this apprenticeship. Here we go. My main strengths are I have a hardworking approach to tasks and also a positive attitude to life in general. Throughout my life so far, I have committed myself to achieving as much as I possibly can within a short space of time. Another strength of mine is the fact that I am a trustworthy and loyal person whom you can rely on to abide by the company rules and values. I also feel one of my strengths is that I know I have a lot to learn and I'll need to work very hard to achieve my career goals. Finally, I think I could fit in well within your team and I understand the only way a company can get the results it wants is through strong teams who are all focused on achieving the end results. So these answers are showing that you're professional, you're hardworking, and you're a mature individual who understands the importance of teamwork. Next question. Part of this apprenticeship requires an ability to follow rules and procedures whilst under pressure. How will you ensure you follow our company rules and policies during the time on the apprenticeship? So let me just repeat that. Part of this apprenticeship requires an ability to follow rules and procedures whilst under pressure. How will you ensure you follow our company rules and policies during your time on the apprenticeship? So there's two things there. You have to follow rules and procedures, but whilst under pressure. And that requires a certain skill, a certain quality to be able to remain calm and always follow your training. So here's my suggested answer. Yes, I understand that whilst under pressure, inexperienced people can make mistakes by making rash and potentially dangerous decisions. I would ensure that I remained calm whilst under pressure and would keep reminding myself of my training and also the importance of following company rules and procedures. If I failed to follow the rules and procedures, I could not only jeopardise your company and its strong reputation, but my actions could also affect other people too. I feel confident I will always follow the rules and procedures, and if I'm ever unsure about anything, I will not take any risks and I will seek advice from my supervisor or a more experienced member of staff. So, as I say, if you want to download those and more, please click the link below the video right now or go to my website, passmyinterview.com, and then you can find out about how to download the apprenticeship interview questions and answers. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you very much for your time and for watching and listening. If you have any questions at all, stick them in the comments section below the video, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. And I wish you all the very best for passing your apprenticeship interview. Thank you for watching, and have a brilliant day.